Alright people, welcome back to some more card reviews. So I apologize for this being late. Uh, very much, I was trying to get all the videos up for today and uh, I didn't get this one out by the time I had to go to college and then I saw one of my friends and had, you know, I helped him with his math work and then we went out to eat and then I've just been super busy. So I apologize for this video being late, but I'm still going to go ahead and give you guys your card review. Alright people. So, uh, let's go ahead and get it started. So today we are looking at Fire King Island. All right, so we looked at some of the Cyber Dragon uh, support, you know, and uh, we're gonna be looking at the Fire King support. So it seems like you know decks that you know structure decks that had some support in the past, you know, structure deck, and it's I guess in those two it's time to you know tune them up, give them some new things to work with, you know, see if they can bring them up. You know, because it's definitely something that you see in the OCG. The OCG's you know kind of meta kind of game is hey. If we, you know, take things off the ban list and we try to make everybody on the, you know, even level, everybody strong, everybody strong, very, very, you know, very communist over there. But over here in uh, the TCG land, it's like, hey, you're going to spend a thousand dollars on this best deck. You're going to like it. All right. We're sick of it. Hit it. Now go buy the new shit, you know, and, and the old shit. Oh, that's never gonna get anything back. You what? You want Bastari? Uh, no, fuck you. Uh, what? You want wind up carry? Uh, no, fuck you. Go ahead and buy them necros and make us some money. Yeah, you know? so it's just totally different, uh, just games really. And uh, of course, you know, Fire Kings that got some more support, and you know that's not a deck that you would ever see get some more support. You know, unless Konami is planning on selling some more of that struck deck. But you know, so uh, Fire Kings that got a filth spell. I know, interesting. You know, I never really thought that there was a you know the deck to kind of get the filth spell. You know, and it's not like they're running Sacred Phoenix, because now, you know, Sacred Phoenix, your fill cells are going to get popped. So, it's pretty much just for Grunix and the other Fire Kings, so I guess Sacred Phoenix is not part of it, you know. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and look at the fill spell, and then, you know, it's been a couple, a little bit of talk about it. I'm going to go ahead and give my opinion, though. I played Fire Kings in the past, and you know, Fire King Bell, my friend Fonzo plays Fire King, so I know the deck pretty well. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and give my two cents about the fill spell. So, of course, it's a fill spell, uh, obviously. So its effect is, and it has multiple effects. It's this face of card in the filter zone is sent to graveyard or banished. Destroy all monsters you control. So straight up, yes, it's pretty good for fire kings because you know if your you filter goes, you get to destroy your monsters. You know you get to destroy your your Yaksha, your Baron, your Grunix. You destroy all your monsters. So you know, and and it's, in a fire king sense, that's not that bad. In a non fire king sense, that's bad. All right, that's bad. And you probably wonder like, well, I don't understand. I don't understand. Besides, you know, Fire Kings, what other, you know, cards do they play in Fire King? Bear, Wolf Bark, you know? So, literally, if you have this field spell on your field, and as soon as you go, all right, summon Bear, MST your field spell, blah, get it wiped, you know? Summon Wolf Bark, you know? Wolf Bark doesn't, is not, you know, an ignition effect. He's a trigger effect, so you gotta, you know, activate his effect. So, as soon as you go summon Wolf Bark, response, I'm going to go MST, pop your field spell, Wolf Bark is dead. So, when you look at it from a Fire King point of view, yes, that's good. You know, sure, I destroy my monsters, yay, my Fire Kings are dead, I get effect. From a non-Fire King perspective, that, it leaves you open, it definitely does. Alright, so there's the first effect, let's go ahead and move on. You can only use one of the following effects of Fire King Island per turn, and only once that turn. So, you only get one, once per turn, so it's no, you don't get, no, either, you don't get both, either or. Alright, so first fact. During your main phase, you can destroy one monster in your hand or that you control. If you do, add one Fire King monster from your deck to your hand. This effect is mwah, beautiful. That is awesome. So, not only does it take away from the reliance of Yaksha, because definitely, definitely, the reliance of Yaksha is just so much. You know, you need Yaksha to go ahead and pop them Grunxes in your hand. You don't get Yaksha in the club. This Release on that pressure. Just during your main phase, you can go ahead and pop that Grunick. And not only that, but you can also search for a Fire King monster. So you get to go ahead and add. So you get to go ahead and pop, just like you would want to. And you get to add. So, and, you know, regular people's eye, uh, you can go ahead and think of this as, you know, a one for one, but a zero. But, hey, you get your Fire King monster effect. So you might be going plus. You might go ahead and go play this, pop a Barong, and, you know, add a... Uh, Yaksha, and then go ahead and search with the bronze. So this first effect is really good. Like this, that first effect right there, that is the reason why you run this filth spell because that is a good effect for Fire King. You know, it doesn't even have to be a Fire King monster. It just says destroy one monster in your hand. That's another thing in your hand. 
Oh yeah, you can trust us. If you get, if you know, you don't got any yaksas and you got, uh, you know, them grinks in your hand, you just be like, you know what? Activate this. Pop my grunix. Trust me for Barong. Grunix come back. You know, and, and that first effect is great. That first effect is great. All right. Second effect. If you control no monsters, you can special summon one fire wing beast type monster from your hand. Um, no, no, no. All right. So that second effect, and I'll be probably thinking like, oh, wow, well, if they control all monsters, they can just summon, you know, the Grunix from the, oh, that's with I, the thing is, I don't understand why would you, you would ever use the second effect, or if you control no monsters, you can special, I don't understand why you would ever use the second effect when the first effect does what, what you want better. If I have a Grunix in my hand, instead of going like, well, you know, I control no monsters, special some Grunix, I can just be like, you know what, I don't give a shit if I control monsters or not. Use the other effect, destroy the Grunix, search, Grunix, gonna come back anyway, and wipe the shit. I, I, you know, I don't really get the first effect. I mean, the second effect. The first effect is when you go with, and this card would be just as fine if it was, if it didn't have the second effect. Like, I, I, I don't know what they were, you were going with with that, you know? So, I mean, I get it. You can special summon the Grunix from your hand, and the first effect, I can destroy the Grunix in my hand, and then I get summon it. Like, if this said, like, you know, during your main phase, you destroy one monster, you control. And then it had this se the second effect. I'd be like, all right, all right, I see. So you know, you control no monsters, special summon the Grunix from your hand. The next turn, you can go ahead and destroy the Grunix that you control, and then search for a fight card. All right, I get that. But you can destroy the monster in your hand. So I don't understand the point of special summoning the Grunix from your hand when you can destroy the Grunix in your hand, and then it can come back and it can blow up everybody. I I, I don't get the point of that second effect. So overall, what do I think of this card? I think it's good. I think it's good. I say, Fire Kings, you should play it. You know, it helps you with your consistency, and I'm all about consistency. Consistency, consistency, consistency. It's one of the reasons why Necro are so fucking good, because they have high consistency. Your deck, your consistency is okay, but this only helps. It only helps. You know, you got you, you got the Toxins, you got the Tanky, but then you got this. If you really want to go all the way, you can go ahead and run the Terraforming, but this helps your consistency. So I definitely recommend you guys run it. Be careful of the first effect. You're probably not going to be using much of that second effect, but that that first, that middle effect, you know, that, that middle effect right there. That's that's the golden ticket. All right, people. So go ahead and tell me what you guys think about Fire King Island in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Card Review. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys next Tuesday with another card to look at. All right, people. Thanks for watching.